Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday so far. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan, and we are back in West Hill. And we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We have a nice clean inventory. I'm pretty sure I cleaned up all of the stuff off the street outside. And I'm wondering if we might have a bit of a change of pace today in that we won't do more street decoration, but maybe we'll find something else on the to-do list that needs doing and we'll move on from there just to kind of change it up one of the things that we have to do is is finish up the river we also have to texture this bridge so this could that could be a fun change of pace i just i i think i need a break from like placing crates and barrels and like doodads along the side of the road i need a, a change there Cosmic Dancer resubscribing at tier one. 55 months in a row. Thank you so much, Cosmic. It's getting to the point now on stream where I've been doing this for a while and I, I, I've i lost all sense of time. <laughs> you know, it's like, wait, how, how long have I been doing this? I completely walked by this. I had these in my, my inventory and I don't know why. Either they were a present for you or I picked them by accident. So you're welcome or I'm sorry. <laughs> from Cosmic in case it wasn't obvious. I, d I did get there in the end. I did get there in the end. Oh, <laughs> firework rockets. Duration one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where you might have gotten those. I might have. They might have been in a shulker box when we were exchanging stuff the other day, but that's good. I will keep them. Thank you. Because you brought me paper and paper and and gunpowder they weren't like it wasn't formed into rockets i don't think ah no more room there we go all right so let's take a look at the book which is right here. West Gate. There's a lot to do at the West Gate. Designing towers, interior guardhouse, detail behind the house. West section of town. Finish inside of textile shop. Finish inside of calcite mud house. Lots of interior stuff over there. Alleys and woods. Parade square. Detail inside the barracks. Keep the moat. I think I might save the parade square until we do the keep because those should be probably done together. That's all done. That's all done. West Hill River. Detail finish the West Hill River Bridge. Detail the bridge towers and riverscape the river. Could do that today. And the keep around the countryside. curtain wall. I think we go river. I think we go river. It's probably the, the easiest thing to start off with. All right, so let's go take a look and see what we're going to need. Chromerific, good to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. Where's going to be the easiest spot to look at this? Probably from down here. Or maybe even over there. So first you can see there's absolutely nothing going on down here. It's It's been turned into coarse dirt, but there's not much more. This is very plain. This is one of the very first things we built. And it needs, you know, cracked stones and things like that. And I'd like to try and come up with something to make it feel a little bit more special. Uh, I think I like these the way they are. I wouldn't mind if they had maybe a strip going up the side of them or something. Um, and all of that looks pretty good. I mean, there's nothing along here, but all of this is going to be involved with the river work. So stuff like this, like just having a few things down here just make a world of difference. And we've got nothing all along there. But then all of this down here, there's no plants. Uh, we've added a little bit of texture at the bottom here. Uh, obviously, you don't want a straight row of things. Um, but yeah, we've not come through here with the bow meal. I think my plan for all of this was just straight up come here with some bow meal and just kind of start blitzing around 
and try to make stuff up as we go. The other part of the river that we have done, I think is down here. Right, so around here we started to do some of this a little bit. It's nothing fancy. Sometimes we've got some bushes. That needs to be waterlogged. But then we can get closer here. This is all done. So like this is what I need to do throughout the other parts of the river. So hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, oh, and then we didn't get very far before we stopped doing that. And I think, yeah, around here, because we were decorating near the, the wharf, it works out. So quite a bit to do. We might even be able to see it on the map. Oh yeah, you can totally see where it's got greenery in the river and then where it doesn't. That'll be easy to spot sections that we've missed anyway. So first things first, we'll take a look at the, um, the tower here and the bridge. Well, that's okay. I wouldn't mind having I probably tried to have um, blocks go up the side of this I think this is okay I'm probably going to put some pressure plates on here might replace some of these larger blocks with uh, chiseled blocks and I don't think I want a smooth bridge deck like that I think I want to have more more peppered blocks. I might go mostly stone and then have these as the accent blocks as opposed to the other way around. Pick some water there. Yeah, I think having some stuff along here would, would add to it. I don't think I want to add any brown. I don't think I want like trapdoors and things along here. I don't think that would maybe work. We might, we might do that on the inside, but maybe not the outside. Although if we do it on the inside, we're going to cover up the, the decorations. We'll see what it looks like. We could do that combination of fences, not fences, um, trapdoors and signs. All right, well, I'm going to need my spruce, all of the stone. Um, we'll bring out some of the other boxes as well. What happens with elytra in water? As long as you don't touch um, the ground, then you stay in flight mode. It's one of the reasons why you bounce around in a bit, very bad way when you're trying to swim on the surface with elytra. But if you um, if you decide to just go deep into the ocean or the river, then you um, as long as your feet don't touch the ground, you stay in flight mode, so you can take back off again. Get some extra food. Good stuff. It was pancake day on Tuesday in the UK, so it would be seasonal. What would be seasonal? Um, we had pancakes here Tuesday as well. All right. 
right, let's put that back in the tables and chairs. And we'll need that. Maybe some tough. Definitely need that. Don't know if we're going to need blackstone. We need the gravel. Oh, wait a minute, that's two stone boxes. don't think we need anything from here. That could be kind of cool in the river, maybe. So we'll bring that out. Sorry for all the flashing. Anything in here that could be good for texture? I don't know if that would look good in the river or not might. Expensive. Some of this stuff needs to be put away. Got a bed already. Oh, bone meal. Need that. And green bin, definitely the bushes, probably that too. And then of course, all of our coarse dirt and grass. That actually should be pretty good. <clears throat> Moss. Cool. Plus that. Oh, it's nighttime. Whoops. I was not paying attention. Farm and SMC. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Very organized. Big project. You have to... Uh, you have to stay organized in a project this size. Otherwise, you just get lost. Now, the question is, where do we want to set up? I think this needs some texture here. So maybe we should do our setup like over there somewhere. Could set up along there. I guess up here is probably the easiest. We're just going to have to, we're going to be coming up and down a lot. I might have to just get some scaffolding out or something. Yeah, I think this is probably a good spot. There's probably a bed in here. Yeah, there is too. Cool. Well, that's one less thing we have to put down. Let's go back one. Cut stone. And then we've got dirt and things. Oh, 
was in the red box? Oh, mangrove wood. All right, I don't need the bed. Put out some of this stuff. I thought a little bit more about where I was putting things. And I didn't bring a, bring a spare shulker. That's the only thing I should have brought. You need to make a rifling command for when you go rifling through shulker boxes. <laughs> I should put like a, a key on my stream deck. Just put up like a test pattern, like technical difficulties, please stand by. And all you hear in the background is just me looking for something in shulker boxes. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny. Uh, I guess we'll take this one. I just want a, uh, a shulker box to throw spare stuff. You never thought that I would actually tidy up Cosmic? I I often will clean up because I've got to take screenshots after I stream. I usually tidy up like after that. What happens? Okay, so uh, we will need more of these guys. Probably some pressure plates. So I'm thinking one thing we want to do along here is going to be to change these. Yeah, I think that looks better. So one thing I thought we could try would be signs and trapdoors. Now, it would cover this up on this side, but it would still show through there and it would show through on the other side. But we could also Have this decorated like that, and then on the outside of the bridge, we have that look. I don't know. I'm not sure which I like. I know I like the the stone, the carved stone, chiseled chiseled stone. We're going to use that. And I know I don't want to have this be any taller because then you can't see over it. And already you can't see over it that well. Man, we could try maybe lower these. I wonder if they look better lower. You can certainly see more, which is cool. Uh, no, I like the look of that better. I guess one alternative we could, we could add if we wanted to do color is that we could replace some of these with uh, trapdoors instead. Hmm, no. I don't think that looks very good either. Any thoughts from the chat? I think I like the stone bits. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to need a fast way to get up here. Hold on. Let's just put the scaffolding down right here in the corner.
Thank you, Cosmic, for being awesome as always. All right, so we know we're doing the carved stone. Carved, chiseled, chiseled. Is there something in Minecraft called carved stone? Am I getting like confused with another block? Yeah, I don't like seeing that on the top, so we need what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five more pressure plates. We also have to think about how this is going to be lit. That's the other thing too. Because right now, there are some zeros, but if we remove these ugly torches, it's probably all quite dark. So I want to consider the lighting before I, I'm stuck trying to force it. Lots of zeros up here, so we're going to have to have one of these street lights hanging probably right here. And then... Yeah, this whole deck is going to need something. I, we're probably going to have to figure out a way to hang something there. Unfortunately, that looks like it's a slab. And it looks great, but unfortunately, we can't hang anything from it. Maybe we'll cut this away. That doesn't look awful. And I didn't bring my iron box either. Oh, is that in my ender chest? Probably in my ender chest. How's that for flying? that takes care of it like that that lights up the whole bridge and it gets down to really really d d dark but then goes back up to fully light so i'm okay with that um i forget that these were wide open i don't know why i made that decision um probably because they were too dark because <laughs> they would have been built before the light changes Chromerific is voting for just stone on the bridge, as is Calberti. Yeah, I think I'm going to put in a, like a full side and we'll just kind of be able to compare. I mean, we'll get a better look in the daytime. Of course. But yeah, that handles everything out here. So there's just, there's one little zero there. I'm not sure why it doesn't mirror on the other side. It's strange, because they should be equal distance. What's down there, I wonder? Oh, there's a light down there. I see. Yeah, so I think a light over here. That feels like it's about halfway up. And this does feel very dark. So I would say I get up on something a little bit higher. Probably. I'd say this block right here. 
would be where we would want to put a street light. Just like that one. Or maybe, maybe his neighbor. All right, so what do we need? We need walls, and fences, and fence gates. Jay Thrice434, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. And thank you for the Prime sub. Very, very cool of you. First time in chat and a Prime sub? Holy smokes. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. You can now join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Very generous. Appreciate it. Uh, walls, walls. I have the trap doors. I need that and several of those. I didn't bring out the mini blocks. That's fine. Yeah, that one on the end kind of sticks out a little bit, so not not this one. This sort of looks like it's part of the bridge too, which is cool. Very dark. That will change in just a moment. Let's see how this looks. Not a big fan of it being so straight on, but I think it's okay. I think we might have to make it a little bit taller. I think it's a little bit low. Kind of bonks you in the face. It certainly lights everything up. Is it enough to hit the bridge too? No. But yeah, I think we need to make that taller somehow. What would be a way to increase the size of these without just like putting more stuff on the bottom? I mean, I guess I could put trapdoors down here, and then and then put the carved chiseled stone. I keep on calling it carved for some reason. Aldabar, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate you being here. That doesn't feel that good. Maybe we just extend the bottom stone part. Where'd my, where'd my fence gate go? Where are you fence gate? Oh, there it is.
I don't know if I like it higher. I thought it needed to be higher. It still functions higher. It's better here in that they don't line up. Like they, they have a better, a better height difference. I like that I don't bunk my head on it or feel like it's too close to me. This just feels kind of strange. I guess that's not terrible. Maybe I could put like stone stairs or something on that. Yeah, the fence gate just fell right where I thought it would, but then all the other stuff went over the edge. Oh, that feels like it comes out here too far. I want something here. I don't know that we need this gutter on the sides here. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. Then it kind of feels like it's all part of part of this. Let's go get some more slabs then. The lag is very atmospheric. Thanks. Yeah, that's. I'm kind of going for like I'd like to spawn proof it, but one of the nice things about the new, the new um, lighting rules for spawning is that you can have things be a little bit um, atmospheric, and it's not going to be a mob farm, you know. And yes, I know that this doesn't have any texture yet, but we will get there. Maybe just one trapdoor. trapdoor better. Oh, maybe here we could do the same same sort of thing. Yeah, I don't mind that. It does feel like it wants to connect a little bit. Maybe that's where we get rid of that. No, that helps. Julian, hello, welcome in. I just need to go find a mini block. At the top of that, we should be good. I should go bring those out anyway. Did I have 
thought I had another thing already set up. Yeah, it's that one. Let's rename this to something more useful. Yeah, that's not bad. I might try to work out something else other than that trapdoor, but I'm not sure what that would be. I kind of like this, you know? I think it looks more interesting than just the bare bones stone. actually stopped raining on its own. Holy smoke. I wonder if it would be more interesting if I created some sort of like support beam across here and hung the lamp from that. But then I don't know if we'd get all the way to here in the middle. We probably wouldn't. Yeah, we'd have to back it up to here. So we definitely would end up with like zeros in the front. So I, unfortunately, I think that they have to stay there and i don't think i don't think i want to mirror it i don't think i want to have two like one on each side because then this side it's not a straight through you end up leaving and going to the left i guess i should take these out It's the kind of thing where I wish we had unlit lanterns and lit lanterns. I kind of like that. All right, we'll do the deck and then we'll see how we're feeling. Oh, and some of these are exposed. I should maybe not do a big blanket removal. I should do more spot stuff, I guess. Did I just, did I not make more cracked stone? I thought I smelted like four stacks. Hell, you still like the stone, huh? I think it provides some interest from this side, too. So the idea is to have mostly andesite and stone and then pepper in some bricks. The 
bricks, cracked bricks, andesite, and stone. You like the wood side from the other side of the bridge, like sort of a depth that gives, makes it um, makes the view make sense. Yeah, that's what I think too. That's what I think too. Did not bring enough andesite. You're on the fence. <laughs> it's a trap door. Come on. Uh, andesite. Right, so then now I want to go through and do the um, the bricks and try to space these out a bit. Uh, I've started to make patterns. Hold on. That's not going to work. You go back over builds you did right at the start. Are there tips and tricks you picked up along the way you want to incorporate? Yeah, I see a lot of the um, the fence and trapdoor thing. Uh, I think I know some better ways to do roads and stairs. Um, I was separating a lot of things. Uh, like over here is a good example. Instead of having this go in a straight line to where I thought it should go. If I've got a feature that I want, it, it makes more sense to connect it to the feature because then this feels way more seamless. So I feel like I spot things, things like that a lot more. Here I'm just trying to like randomize the texture a bit. I 
think that that transitions pretty well from a fairly stone road to something a little bit more like the deck of a bridge. It feels like it's made out of something different and it kind of comes back in on itself and becomes more stone road again. I dig it. I like it. Yeah, cool. Uh, are these going to be things that we're going to need nails on? I'd say yes. Thanks, Chromorphic. Appreciate it. Just out of curiosity, what does this look like if we did stuff all the way down? It's a little distracting. There would be a use for it, like maybe inside, if you're making a very specific kind of barrel. Maybe we'll try to do something like that in like the textile shop or something. Something that looks like it's meant to hold liquid would have a lot of rivets in it. Oops. Ladona, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I like it. This feels a little bit empty now. I wonder if we should have like a little platform here maybe. How high do I want to get? Slab is probably good enough. This is a cool opportunity to maybe add a little more color as well. Bring in some slabs and trapdoors again. sense and is there a way there isn't a way to change that up it's too bad I can't go full block in there
Yeah, that way it doesn't keep you from getting up top. I like it, I like it. I wonder... Instead of this, we could maybe have something like a barrel or something there instead, but it looks okay. And I don't think there's anything we can do with the trap doors to make them look any cooler here. I feel like... I thought those are all exposed, maybe? No, they're. I think they're hidden. There's blocks behind all these. I'm just wondering if we can do anything more interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it houses the ladder. That's what it is. Never mind. Wonder if it would look cool if we did like um little windows. Maybe not two, maybe we only do one. I'll go get my other my other shulker box for trapdoors. Not sure on the lore of Westall, but as this tower say, archers defensive positions. Mm, that was probably the idea, but it doesn't really work, just because they're just so hard to do in Minecraft like that. Because you just you just can't seem to get. Because like you're defending what, right? Like there's nothing here, right? Well, that's not even a window. So like, it's the kind of thing where like the the bridge would have been built first, and then other stuff has been built around it. So maybe they were at one point. The idea is that. It's supposed to look like it may be from the outside over here, but it doesn't really function because Minecraft isn't very good. Like, if this was was not a meter thick wall, then yes, you would absolutely be able to shoot arrows towards the water here. But because Minecraft is so beefy in terms of how thick the blocks are, it sort of like gives the impression that they're supposed to be murder holes. But I think that's what they're called. I, I've not been able to find anything else as to what they're called, but. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thanks very much. I think that adds a little bit of interest. I might just make it one taller. Just put the one. A little bit more to look at when you climb the ladder. And this functions, but it doesn't really look all that good. The ladder switches sides. And the reason we do that is because we don't want the walls here to connect to anything. So it doesn't really look all that good in here. Don't know about that either. Anyway, as Cosmic is suggesting, time to take a break. So if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. I'm just going to chill in here for a few minutes. I need to go reheat my coffee. And uh, you should too. Grab a friend, grab a snack. We will be right back.
So I did a quick Google search on the break, and uh, thanks to Kel Birdie for the, the summary, a murder hole and arrow slit are two different things. To summarize a murder hole, a mortieri, I think I'm saying that right, my French is terrible, is in the roof and usually round, and an arrow slit is a balustraria is in the wall. And you can't really do slits very well in Minecraft, but you get the idea. We should do something like this on the other side, I think. It would make sense to do so. How far did I go up? Uh, three blocks? One, two, three, yeah. Cool. I feel like I might want to try and make that an arc somehow. It feels very flat. I wonder if we can do that without messing up the geometry too much. Those are just stairs, I think. Yeah, I'm just wondering if we drop these down. That has to be a full block. Right. Oh, but maybe if I change them sideways. And then if I go on the inside here. Oh, that doesn't look very good at all. That's no good. I was hoping to be able to change the shape of that, but maybe not. I like this. I like the look of it, but the texture looks off. And that has to be out here. Could it be inside as well? Yeah, it could be inside as well. Oh no, the ladder's there. The ladder's there. Maybe that's where it switches? It doesn't look awful. I 
don't know if we're really going to, I don't think people are really going to notice it. I think maybe we'll just leave it like that. Just feels a little bit strange going up here. But I can't think of another way to get up here. Unless at some point we do what I say I was going to do, and that's fill this in and create something interesting in here where we could support like a catwalk. So if you get to here and then you exit to some stairs in the middle, that could be interesting. Where would that end up? So if we get up to here and then at a certain point, we just have to go out front. It's not there. You have to be at least a block higher. Yeah, that's a little on the strange side. So this would have to be stone. And then maybe catwalk here. I quite like that. I think maybe we'll do that. And then we can go upstairs in here. Did I bring stairs? I did not. That would have been smart. For some reason, this part of the bridge makes me think of the iron, uh, the inn on the bridge with the nether portal. I think it's the shape. Oh yeah. I would have I would have probably drawn from that quite a bit to get it right. Uh do we want to go straight across? Or do we want to start going up in the corners? Actually, that should be this way. Definitely more interesting. Maybe it doesn't go straight across. Maybe we just have like a little, little catwalk here. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that. Because then we can do that and this. Uh, oh, maybe not. Let's put that one there. Aha. Uh -huh. Because there's more room to walk around up here too, which is nice. No longer need that. And then we no longer need these. These can't be full blocks because then the walls will connect. And 
what if that was a trapdoor? Oh, you can't get it up any higher? That's weird. Huh. Wonder why that is. All right, well, I guess we have to put it back. I like that better because then you're not switching sides. It's good. I'm just wondering if this would look better if it was a full block. Different texture, but it might sell it. We'll see. I think that's fine. And I think I'd rather have a full block showing here and this actually could all be the same sort of thing feels a little bit more constructed I think the only reason I have these slabs here is because I didn't want things spawning in here. Yeah. But what we could do here is stairs and trapdoors. And that I think has to stay. That feels pretty enclosed. I think that's pretty good. And this is visible from below. Yeah, so that has to stay a block. See, this is the kind of thing that I think the two years of experience of building in this kind of style I think I've picked up a lot of little ways to place stairs slabs trapdoors and that kind of thing in a way to get a lot more out of what I would have only been placing as just basic blocks and we'll do this side probably leave it open but good now here we're going to want to add trapdoors I think the rest of this is okay I don't think there needs to be a trapdoor there the only thing I was thinking is that the tops here look a little bit boring and I was wondering whether if we took these in and change them to be stone if it would look good from below. Stone bricks, I should say. Oh, I didn't want to fall in here. I think it looks okay. You can't even really see it with the scaffolding in the way or the 
um, catwalk. Yeah, I think that's good. There's no real spot for any signs to go. Yeah, I like that change quite a bit. Nice. Uh, do we want this to be a ring or do we want to like go all the way around with this? I'd say we go all the way around with it. Definitely some tight spaces through here. Although that's kind of an interesting feeling. That'd be kind of a fun, you were doing a maze in Minecraft and you had like spots where you were limiting people's movement and view. That'd be kind of fun. Using a combination of walls and other things. Oh. We'll of course add a little bit of texture to this as well. And I often pop up things in the corner just for people to be able to see a little bit more. I find that these are usually, they just gives better views of all the hard work around. I feel like I've done that in other places too. Maybe I did it over there. I've done it somewhere. Somewhere on a tower. Not there. Not there either. Where did I do this before? Oh, there's one there. Slabs. Huh. I thought I've done that before. Oh, there's one. All right, I'm not going crazy. Definitely a thing. I think maybe we'll just use the trapdoors here. Let's go with like same direction. Whoops. The only thing about the the slab is that it allows you to get up on top of the stair where here you you still kind of push yourself up against it that works better it's a lot of spruce up here but that's okay uh, and then maybe we'll add, bring up some barrels, and obviously we will need some sort of light. I think we've covered up all the spots, so we could leave them dark. We don't have to have a light up here, but I think it probably needs something. And I'm kind of thinking that we need, it could be maybe something on the side or there. Maybe here would be a good spot to put it. And then we'll do the opposite over there. I just don't want to have all these little... They look kind of weird. They look kind of spindly. I kind of think we should have something else. I mean, I guess we could just leave like a lantern like on a barrel or something. Chromerific, thank you very much. That's kind of you to say. Do you walk around here, Cosmic, when I'm not around? That's really sweet. I'm, that's a nice compliment. Thank you. Hmm. All right. Well, 
while we figure out what needs to happen up there, we can do look at other buildings in the area. There's no light up there. I just I don't want to just repeat those. They just look so skinny and simple. Because we could do something like this easy enough. You know, I feel like that might be the best solution. I feel like there's a couple of things in this town that I don't want to change the silhouette of. And like even just seeing that one off in the distance, I don't want one of those just kind of like poking out the top of these. I think it would be better if we left them as they are. So maybe we'll just do a simple lantern on a barrel. I mean, maybe we use a soul fire lantern. I don't know. We don't need any light up there. It's getting dark, so I'm going to let it get dark. And we'll see what we can potentially bring up. Did I bring my... That's that. Oh, I didn't bring the inside blocks, did I? Oh, that was a steeple. There we go. <laughs> Not crazy, you're already gone. Thanks for the vote of confidence, much appreciated. Think about what else we might want to have up there. Great sparrows. Maybe a pot. These I absolutely see as, as more defensive positions. They look to be fairly well lit up just because there's they're not sealed off from below so light can travel up the middle of them. Yeah, because of these lanterns, they're not like crazy dark. You can still see them against the night sky, which is cool. Yeah, they're not like super dark Wow. <laughs> See, I don't like the way that that lights up the edge. So we might have to leave these empty. That feels a little bit strange. And imagine over here that one of these is just going to be very bright if I use like a full... Well, maybe we don't do it on the edge. Let's go... We'll put one sort of like maybe here. If I use a real full strength lantern. Yeah, see, it feels like it's lit up like a tourist attraction. I think we just have to carefully place all of our decorations up top to make sure that there's no zeros and i think that we had that i think that if i remove this i don't think there's any spawning spaces up here just like we just they probably are in the corners look at that 
It was like it was meant to be. The only thing is that it does feel like there's an awful lot of spruce here. But we don't have any alternate um, ways of doing that. I've, I've got half a brain to take this texture uh, with spruce and make a dark oak trapdoor that looks just like it, but dark oak. You know, I, I'm tempted because I don't really use the chocolate bar pattern for the dark oak for any on purpose reason. Like it's not something I use regularly for. I use it because I, I don't have a choice. Like I don't want this to have that pattern. I would prefer it to have like the plank pattern. Right. So maybe I should make a custom texture for that. It does look a little bit funny without supports, but I think we're okay. All right, well then it's just a matter of putting in some stuff up here. Uh, I would say maybe we can do barrel there and we'll throw in another barrel over here. Where did it go? There it is. I think we'll just remove that part. Whoops. Yeah, that's good. And then we just add a little bit of texture up here and we're sold. Yeah, I'd say that's it. I don't really think we need to do anything too fancy. Maybe we'll just throw in the odd regular stone. Actually, not that one. Cool. Well, that was fairly straightforward. There's so much to love about Westell, the build style, the detailing, how the light looks at night, even how the town looks at sunrise or sunset. Just a feast for the eyes. Thanks very much, Cal. That's very sweet of you to say. It does look really cool with shaders on when in the morning, like there's lots of really cool light happening. It really helps when you start getting like greens and blues into your builds. Like I think that that helps a lot too. Unfortunately, we don't have cracked slabs.
I wonder if I've ever tried putting a like a stone corner all the way up that. Like we'd stop there, but I wonder if I've ever tried that. So let's just see. So I've got one, two, two blocks of stone. The rest is andesite. And if I go up, what is down there? It's a the cave, I guess. I'm sure I've tried this. Yeah, you lose you lose the arch. You lose the, the corner of the arch there. That's probably why I didn't do it. And it also looks pretty boring. Okay, well, worth a shot. Worth a shot reminding myself anyway. Oh, I'm missing two andesite right there. Or at least one. That's a little bit better. I should maybe take a look at changing those into um, uh, mangrove leaves. Those would probably look really cool. I feel like I can do stuff like this a lot better now. Uh, like if you look at this, and you can see the intention. You can kind of see what I was going for. I am 100% going to be turning on the control in games now where you can keep vines from growing uh, con like constantly, I think that'll be fantastic. But then if you compare that to like this over here, I feel like, I mean, one, yes, it's a newer texture, but I also feel like it's just a better job of that. We've got mangrove roots now too. So there's some very key features that you see from points in this build that, while I don't want to go back and redo them necessarily all the time, I do feel like that could be made to be a lot better with a combination of mangrove roots and and some some mangrove uh, blocks um leaf blocks i have to come back to that all right i think that's i think that's it for the tower so i think we'll just we'll we'll do the other tower because we know what we're doing uh slab whole block and then the stair how long before the trapdoor and the pressure plates know me that's why i made that one block higher <laughs> so i can jump over it totally i'm already there <laughs> i'm already there slab whole block and then a stair all right so we need to go up here Slab, whole block. The stairs go here. These turn into log blocks or wood blocks, I guess. Oh, maybe that should be andesite. Minecraft Maniac, thanks for the follow. Yep, 
Yeah, I'd say we'll make this at an andesite here. Orange, thanks for the follow, and launched, launched, sorry, launched into orbit. Thanks for the follow. That's a fun username. Did you uh, see that we finished the Space Shuttle Discovery Lego set yesterday? Something that's been in orbit something like 30 times. Oh, you're welcome, Orange. Thanks for saying hi. So there is a full block there, and then a slab, and then the stairs start. So there's a full block over the thing here, and then there's a slab here. And if I start the stairs this way, then we should end up coming out facing that way, which would be great. So if I do that, and then we start stairs going up the sides. This is something else you get pretty good at, is figuring out how your stairs are going to work and how to make them look kind of like a natural progression. Things Obviously, that's not going to be there. did stairs and then trapdoors Right, and then we did the railing, and we had stuff underneath here first. That, that, and I think that was it. Yep. It's almost easier the second time around. Less trial and error, right? Nope, maybe not so easy. Where's McScrew gun when you need him? Whoops. Doesn't quite look the same. Ooh, I might change that. Let's change that to being here. Should have done that first. It's 
So this is a little bit trickier. So all I noticed there was that um, I was hitting the the trap door on the way up. So I think we'll just get rid of that. Yeah. That feels about right. Comes together pretty quick. Get rid of that. And we'll put in a door up here. Do I have one? Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Get rid of you. Never thought about that. We could have tried some of that as well. Along the outside here. This kind of a thing. That unfortunately just becomes an awful lot of spruce. If we had different things, right? Like that would work very nicely. Different trapdoors. Just trying to make it look different than the other one. We need some more blocks. I really like making little catwalks. Speaking of Lego, a certain film was on TV earlier tonight involving a certain DeLorean. Nice. I haven't watched those in a while. I should go back and watch those. I think the last time I watched them was around the 30 year anniversary or something. Or no. It was like seven years ago in 2015 when Back to the Future 2 like actually takes place. I think Alistair and I watched them and talked about them on uh, the Citadel Cafe. Uh, mini blocks for maybe that. That. Maybe another one of those. That feels a little bit repetitive here. Any ideas on how we could make that look different? That might be the easiest way to do it. I really like that change. Stripped dark oak logs play pair decently with spruce items. You're right, they do. Uh, unfortunately, they're too tall for in there. I need like a slab or lower. It's a little distracting, but it's not too bad. I might want to move that. I can't really see them from anywhere else. I just like how simple those towers are. I think they really stand out. Yeah, these are looking, this is looking a lot better now. I 
I think I'm going to move that little barrel mini block though. Yep. Looks good up here, but it bugs me that it's in the way. What if I just switch these? Oh, that doesn't really work. Hold on, I have an idea. Let's, um... Let's do... That, and then... I didn't want to have the barrel next to the spruce. I wanted to break up that color. So we'll just have it like that. I don't think you can see that from down here. Nope. Cool. Chromorific, I do too. That was an idea I stole from Fwip and Jermsey Boy for the retextured note block. So much better. I should look at the jukebox too and do something. I'm not sure what I would do um, for the jukebox. Like we have a crate. Like what what would you what would you want to have the jukebox? Because the jukebox is a very specific texture. It's similar to the note block. Well, it's going to show me the my custom, but like because the jukebox is something we could totally use in a similar situation. Maybe I should do that sometime soon and see if I can't find a like an alternate, I guess a spruce crate. This is kind of dark and having something that would be more like that color, but a crate could be useful. How do you even make a jukebox? It's a diamond, right? Wood. Yeah, I feel like you would use that in interchangeable, although that's not a terrible texture, you know, if it wasn't for the black rim around it it's not the end of the world it looks like one of those really old-timey speakers it looks like the radio that my grandparents had in their living room and it was about that long <laughs> it was the same size as the chesterfield great big old ottoman radio that's right jordan i've got lots of diamonds i'm not worried about that a crate with an open lid that's a good idea cosmic but then you'd you'd be stuck with whatever you make, you know. I'd want to try to come up with something um, viable, like, and I would maybe have it be like the other direction. I don't know. I like the idea of a spruce thing. I'd have to think about like what it is that I'm often missing. We have barrels. We have things. These are not directional, right? They end up. Um, can't no yeah they're the same all right so now we just need to do some of the textures on the archways maybe it's not this exact same realize as soon as I jumped up here.
Looks like I started this one already. Cool. Takes care of that. Everything in here looks good. All right, I think the thing now is just move on to doing the texture on this road and connecting that up. And I think that will complete the tower and the bridge deck changes that need to happen I do have to do something about that arrow slit that goes to nowhere more break when you're ready says cosmic thank you for the reminder so this is completely blocked off so there's no real reason to have it there it feels a little bit funny but maybe that's an opportunity to like pile some stuff here, right? So we can change this from being a mirror. We could end up having some stuff piled up in the corner here. I'll just do it temporarily. Have something like that there. I think that could be fun to kind of break that up a little bit. Obviously it won't be brown. Probably won't touch that either. Thinking like kind of the stuff you might want to take upstairs with you. Yeah, not <laughs> yeah, the, the arrow slit there wasn't super useful. This one isn't terribly useful either. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to pretend that you can get in here and maybe aim a little bit that way, perhaps. But like, yeah, you're kind of, unless there's a roof bandit, you're not really doing anything too productive right there. But I like that you see some, I like that you see something visual kind of scroll by you. So I want to leave that. Um, I guess we could try to move them over. That might look kind of silly from the outside though. I might have left it in there at first because it just looked good from the outside. See, I think that looks good, even if it's not functional. You can't see them anyway. Roof bandit, right? Spider thief. Yeah, you really can't see them. You can see one. Now you can see two. I don't know, I think it breaks up the side of the the wall nicely. Whoa, that was my face. Yeah, I think we'll just leave them. Nice little bit of asymmetry. Cool. Right on. So uh, as per Cosmic's instructions, we have hit the next hour. If you're new to the stream, I take a break once an hour. You should too. Give yourself a little bit of stretch. We'll be right back.
Hey, short Zelda, welcome back. Hope you're having a good weekend. So next up, we've got to texture this approach, the bridge. So we're gonna need all of our texture blocks for that. So let's get rid of the wood things. need those. I'm going to need probably that. I need stairs and slabs of this kind. Oh, and cobble. Right. Uh, stairs. Everything here is going great, Short Zelda. We uh, we revamped and finished the texture on the deck of the bridge, which I had forgot to do. We added some some detail inside, and we redid the top here so that there's actually a staircase that goes up. So if you come up here, you now have like a little catwalk that gets you up to the top. And now we just have to finish texturing the the approach here along the side. This is always tricky because when you get slabs, you lose your cracked stone. I guess that should be straight. Maybe we should. If this was back a bit. I feel like we missed a lot of andesite. Like there's, oh yeah, there's not much andesite in here either. It does get tricky when you've used the same thing in the walls. I guess we're okay. Where's my regular stone? There we go. I 
God, the, the two of them together just they, it's just too much. Just too much. So I don't know if I need to keep these gutters. I think they work maybe down here. Once I get to the corner, I feel like I can probably get away without them. Gives me a little bit more room for texture work. I feel like I'd rather have cracked there and then throw in Maybe an andesite here. Same thing, I guess, here probably stop the gutter around there. I just feel that these slab ones just end up being so sparse. That's a little bit better. Love the sound of stone blocks being dug up and placed. This dull thud is kind of relaxing. I, yeah, I think there's a lot of Minecraft players that find some of the sounds um, very therapeutic. I, I wonder if anybody has kind of kicked up a stink about some of the sound changes that they've made lately and you know, whether that, that's, you know, remove that satisfaction for them, you know? We're almost there. It's a long road. A long road. And that's kind of two in a row. I try not to line them up too much if I can help it. But sometimes a simple shift is all you need. Ah, I did it there too. Did it there too.
I was trying to do something like this while listening to the Spun Chunks Hangout earlier by making the exit from the bridge to the portal in 118. I was going for old and broken look. I'm going to tell you, I need a lesson in texturing. Well, Cosmic, I think one of the things that you can think of is I try to do like a, when in doubt, just do like a one, two, three and offset the third. So like, where's a good example? Here, one, two, and then instead of three there, offset it and have it go in the direction of the road or whatever. So like one, two, third is a different texture. I've got one, two, three goes off to the side. One, two, three goes off to the side. Or you can do like these little horseshoe looking ones. And I would, you know, use a lot of cracked stone if you can, because it's, it's useful, you know, and it, it feels like you're overusing it, but it's, it's one of the better ways to make your stuff feel textured and people don't look down that much, right? You just kind of want it to feel good as you're going. I might have even over textured this a little bit. It might be a little bit too much happening here in the middle. Although that needs something, doesn't it? Don't like that one. I'm also going to go back up and try to put in a couple of stairs here and there. That'll help smooth things out a little bit. And this might not look good. Next to that, yeah, that stands out a little bit too much. Let's put this back a bit. I don't know what to do there. Maybe nothing. Yeah, I think that kind of lines up. We can maybe add another crack right here. got to tell you looking at other people's amazing builds in minecraft in that hangout uh not the best time to attempt your own build while having confidence in your skills i well I, get it. I think the thing is you got to remember that it's just like golf or weightlifting or whatever like it's it's all about how your last build looks compared to your new build and less about your build compared to somebody else like i've only been playing minecraft for five or six years but i've been an artist for my entire life so like i just i have an eye for this kind of stuff people that are not artists naturally i think have a harder time kind of you know getting into spatial 
organization games like Minecraft, right? So one of the ways we can kind of like dull this down a bit, uh, that is a slab, so we can't do it there. But uh, we can do along here. Where would we be able to do this? So that is full blocks. Right, so here, I kind of wonder whether I could start a little bit of this road change with stairs and this. So you get kind of like, like a little half section that starts. And same thing, that's a slab, do it there. That's where I want it to happen. So again, slab there. But here, I feel like this is very close. But one of the things you can do is push that back. Just a little bit. We lose our cracked stone, but I think it helps with the distance there. We just have to come up with a different spot to put the cracked stone, that's all. This is why I want cracked stairs and slabs. Uh, here, I don't think I want to mess with that too much. I'm doing okay. This is something where I think a stair here could be useful. Or maybe the other way. Yeah, right? So it kind of gives you that little half start. So it kind of helps round that out a little bit. It's hard to see, but if you get up a little bit higher, like two half steps before it goes into the full steps sideways. Helps a little bit. It doesn't always work because of the way that your slabs line up, but sometimes you can get it to do what you want. Yeah, I think that's good. Looks a good to me. Maybe we'll pop in a couple of cracked in the wall here. It's a slab. I guess I should go get some pressure plates. Or I could, could just make some. Oh, that's a slab. Never mind. A little strange there. Maybe this needs to be a full. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better.
Maybe a stair here would make more sense. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Launch into orbit. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, a little bit of sleep. I think I want to try to use um, a little bit more of this railing. We have a little bit going on here, and I think having a little bit more going on here would also be nice. Oh, that's supposed to be... Are we going to... I don't know if those should be the same as the bridge or what. Hmm. Kind of want to make those the same, but then that's going to make that look kind of weird. No, actually, I think they'll make it, it'll end up making it look like they're part of it. Could even have each one of those be one as well. Continue the pattern down. Where did I put those? Hanging signs, yeah. Uh, would you finish Christo with something else coming back with 120 stuff? Yeah, I would. I think I'm considering putting some some um, hanging signs around. That's a little bit tricky. But I think I can do the same thing with this one. And then this one. Hmm. Maybe we just stop the pattern there. Or we place it here. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Never mind. I like that better. I like that better. It's a good good connection. Same thing with the stair. So I'm kind of faking it here. It looks like they're even. 
Uh, there definitely need we need something in through here. Maybe we have to cave and put that there. Mm. Not a fan. What do we do? tricky. Going to replace the signs in the nether tunnels with hanging signs, I think. I think they'll look nicer in the nether tunnels. Yeah, I think that I really hope that they, that they change the features. Now that they've come to pre-releases for the other um, the other blocks or the other um, for the, the minor update, I really want them to um to to give us um revisions to the one dot twenty stuff. I'd love for them to give us the ability to write on both sides of a hanging sign. This is really tricky. That just feels so out of place. Maybe I just swap it on this side and then stop them on the other side. Good opportunity to use that stair trick too. Actually, maybe we can do that with this one. A little distracting. I think that works. Looks good from this side. And then this change. We'll just stop it there. That's all looks that all looks fine. Might want to throw in a cracked brick where we can. Yeah, I think that helps frame the road a little bit. Amanda BD, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. I think I might want to throw a wall in there. So one thing I didn't bring with me. Thanks. I like the texture on the bridge too.
Yeah, I really like this. I saw this in somebody else's video. Can't remember who it was. I just really liked it. I watched a couple of time lapse Minecraft videos on stream the other day. Or not on stream, but like. On YouTube. Now that feels strange, doesn't it? Cool. Well, I guess we'll just leave that. This might be a good opportunity for one of those stair things, though. Um... Is that Bruce? It looks like. I agree. I think Minecraft is an art form. I mean, it's certainly a a means of expressing yourself in all kinds of different ways. It's more as more than just a game more than just a game all right sleep time Yoink. so I think that leaves us with just the exterior uh, underside of the bridge that's left it still feels very samey along here So obviously we need some cracked bricks and things. I also think we're going to bring some andesite up into here a little bit. There's not much we can do along here because it's all stone brick with like slabs and stairs and whatnot. Um, but I think we can do a little bit underneath here. So really simple stuff. Just, you know coming in here and putting in some andesite. Stuff like that. And that'll just kind of help the whole thing feel a little bit better. Um, don't want to create like a mirror. So maybe this too. 
we're just going to need to make some scaffolding, I think, along here. Otherwise, I'm going to drive myself crazy. Do I have slabs? Uh, I had slabs. They're there. Oh, that's right. I forget about this. Where does this go? This goes underneath the inn. Oh yeah, fun. Need more of these. Maybe bring some mossy stuff too. Um, where did that go? Beds and secret passages everywhere. Yep. How I like it. I guess I'm going to need some more scaffolding. Right, so here is where... We can go into at least some mossy bricks. I don't think I want to change the bottom of this to be any kind of cobble. I feel like we probably want it to stay andesite. Andesite looks kind of wet anyway. What side did we go up on that side? Let's go over over here. Trying to make it look like it's a bit of a pattern, but it's hard with only a few being able to be scattered. Let's put this here, maybe. Really a pain in the butt. Uh, oh, I'm out of stairs. Crap. Someone just needs to come in with birch trees? Where would they put the birch trees? I was looking for this. I hope that doesn't ruin the water.
Oh, uh, maybe I don't want to do that one. That's kind of the same. Go with these two. Uh, that looks like a slab. Right, I think that's pretty good. Just to kind of enough to make it look like it almost looks like the water reflecting in the stone, you know, the way that. Like light will ripple off water and reflect onto things. Pretty good. And it completely torqued the water. Awesome. Not at all what I wanted to do. There's another one along here somewhere that I spotted earlier. Where was that? Oh, right here. See, I want to fix a lot of this stuff along here too. Like all this feels very spotty. I know that you can't really see it, but definitely some things I want to change. Rodford, hello. Hope you're having a good day. That's there. Let's go in there. Looks good. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Don't even remember what was there. I think it was tall grass. Anybody remember? grass cool thank you launched into orbit uh, grass and bone meal So then here, we're at a point where we have to start doing a texture up the side. Now, some of these are gonna be whole blocks. And so this is where I can throw in a cracked if I wanted to. I 
And then those are going to be slabs. And then these are going to be whole blocks again. I don't think I want to be mirroring each side exactly. So we'll try to spice it up a little bit. really hard when you're this close. It feels like it's too close. Let's do these two instead. Yeah. Got the secret little door there too. It's not bad. Not bad. is in here. All right, so it's just a cave, just like an empty space. Okay. And then of course that. a little visual hint that there's a door there. Underground sewers would be a good idea. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad call. Thank you, Cosmic. We're very close to finishing this bridge. All right, I need to move this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Go with bricks, I guess. So we didn't even touch the river today. I feel like this is a good spot to maybe have a couple of cracked right here. Oh, come on. Of course I fall off. So the only thing that I find tedious about building in Minecraft is, is the, the constant falling off of scaffolding and like the up and down stuff. I, I do, it wears thin on me. 
quite a bit. I forgot about this staircase too. Cracked bricks. Think. I don't think I want to start putting in different color stones. I might be able to get away with like a smooth stone here. But I don't think I want to start getting into like andesite because then it starts to get confusing as to what what's bridge deck, you know. Although that breaks up that line. I'm not a big fan of that either. Maybe we just have to make sure that the texture is on the interior and not the um, profile. I think that works okay. One thing we I sometimes like to do is like create things that look functional. Like if we had like a storm drain or something on the bridge, that would be kind of cool. I don't know if we have the resolution to do it, but on a much bigger bridge, it would be doable for sure. Well, that didn't work. You can fall through scaffolding, but you can't jump through scaffolding. Silly game. wonder if that's too similar. Where is that other piece over here? I'm trying not to mirror exactly what I've done. I put that a little bit closer. So distracting. I'm not sure if I like the stone in there. It is kind of distracting. I feel like I've got too many, too many crack pieces. I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of that one, I think. Oh, uh, stupid scaffolding. And what was the other one I was going to get rid of? This one, I think. That was a mistake. I th unintentional. thought I might like it, but I do not. Alright, get rid of this and that. Missy, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it.
Man, it really goes everywhere, doesn't it? Alright, I'm going to sleep. And then we're going to take a final look at everything. I am doing well, Missy. Thank you very much. Just a chill Saturday, taking care of one more thing on the to-do list. Yeah, this looks much better. Funny how just, I mean, it took us a long time because it was a lot of kind of like, I've never done this before, so I had to kind of like learn what I wanted to do. But, um, but I feel like it makes a big difference now. Even just, just those, just those across the top. I think I'm happy with the texture. Might be a little bit too many cracked over here. And we didn't do anything there. I just need one more cracked piece, probably like right, right here. Can't reach. I don't even have my elytra on. I'm bouncing all over the place. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. I like the continuation of the, the bridge pattern along the approach. I think that looks good. Very happy with that. What are we doing over here? This looks really cool. I like the, the that idea that it looks like a shimmer. This is very cool. What time of day is it? Try this. Oh, it's behind the tower. Man, that is not smooth at all. 44 FPS, but like not not a smooth rotation whatsoever this is why i can't play with shaders on y'all are probably sick of me saying that but yeah now if i get down here with the light hitting the water there's no ray tracing of course but that to me that andesite there sort of looks like how the reflection would pop up in that way right like that's what i'm seeing Right? Hey, people see that too? I'm going to have to remember that trick for underneath bridges because we've got two more bridges to make. We've got two more bridges to make. Uh, there's one to the east over here. That's just an empty thing. And then there's this bridge here that has to be put into. And this is going to be quite high, so that could be kind of cool to put, put the reflection on there too. Well, this even looks cooler on the map now too all the details that we put on the top of it nice how does it look from the sunny side of things yeah good stuff
yeah the these are a nice touch i think they they help highlight the deck the sturdiness of it you know i need to find some better shaders i find that the the daytime shaders i've got um they don't differentiate between how bright these are during the day and during the night so they feel very out of place during the day my glow light and my candles need adjusting too, but it's it's not as easy as you think to make those adjustments in shaders. I know Mini Packs has got some cool shaders. Mini Packs had some beautiful images from Infinity Cove, my patron server, in the Spun Chunks Hangout today, and they were sharing like all the cool like glow, like foliage that they had done with glow berries. It looked amazing. I need to pick their brain about that. Yeah, job well done job well done i just need to put a few things away here so my brain is not mush the next time that i log in oh that's full where's the andesite is there i somehow don't even have a full stack of um scaffolding anymore that's weird very very cool All right folks uh, i'm gonna pass you on i believe tadpole milk is live uh, I'm going to send you on your Minecraft day. Thanks ever so much for hanging out. Really appreciate the support, the prime subs today and all the chat. Great to see so many eyeballs on the stream on the weekend. Um, I put my rockets in one of my shulkers. Thanks. <laughs> I will, uh, I will look for those immediately after I get off stream. Um, but thank you ever so much folks. Uh, sorry, I'm losing my voice. I, I did a, sp a podcast this morning with the spawn chunks. So it is a been a long chatty day for me uh, but tadpole milk is a fantastic content creator very funny dude i think you will enjoy your time there uh, I, I will point you towards the spunchunks.com and the sizzlecafe.com there are brand new free podcasts out right now this week uh wakanda forever and 1.20 minecraft content so yeah check it out joel duggan on social media very easy to find joel duggan on patreon that's where you can check out the infinity cove patron server helps me make more content by supporting me but you also get access to a very cool community of um, like-minded adults playing minecraft i think you will enjoy it several of those people on infinity cove also stream so you can test out and see the server before you join should you want to just uh, ask in the discord or hit me up on social media i will see y'all tomorrow slight scheduling change my father's birthday is monday we are getting together for dinner tomorrow night so i will probably be streaming earlier in the day tomorrow uh check me out at either 11 a.m atlantic daylight time that's utc minus four hours or maybe noon but i'm going to try to get it in as early as i can so we will see you tomorrow but it will be earlier than normal bye for now enjoy the rest of your saturday <laughs>